Okay, now we're on to the actual closing entries. At the end of the period, after you do your cruel and adjusting entries, you then actually have to do the closing entries to close the books. You only close temporary accounts. Temporary accounts would actually be just purely saying the income statement. You need to close the income statement every year so that you can say this is the amount of money we made in the period or for the year, so you start from zero next year. To do that, you have to close it. Balance sheet accounts are deemed permanent accounts. So the first thing you do is close revenue. Remember, we already said to increase a revenue account on the income statement, you credit it. So that's your normal balance is what it takes to increase. So that means we need to debit all the revenue accounts for whatever the tolls are. And we talked about a few of them already. Sales revenue, service revenue, and interest revenue. And there are any other revenues you have. But you close all of them. And that's where I put dot, dot, dot. You put sales, revenue, whatever the dollar amount is. When you add it all together for the year, then you'd also have like uh, interest revenue and you put the dollar amount, whatever your revenue accounts. You total that up and then you put an entry to income summary and you put that as a credit so that the debits equal credits and all the revenue accounts are now zero. And I just showed you'd put that as an income summary T account and you put the number right here on the credit side. Second thing you do is you close the expense accounts. And remember, the, incomes, the income statement only has two categories of accounts, revenue and expense. So we're closing the expense. We remember from expense to increase it, the normal balance would be to debit it. So therefore, we need to credit all the expense accounts. That's why they're shown right there. So we debit income summary. That's what we're going to close them all to is the income summary. This income summary is open for about that long, long enough for the journal, journal entry and it's gone. So you add up all the expenses. This could have been utilities expense, rent expense, insurance expense, wage expense, salary expense, cost of goods sold, the only one that didn't have the expense in its name. But remember, prepaid expenses are technically an asset. That's the only expense you don't count, and you throw one that doesn't have an expense in the name, cost of goods sold. So you close all the expense accounts, not the prepaid, all the expense accounts, and you close out cost of goods sold, all the income summary. So the income summary is now debited for that balance. So you have two numbers here. The difference is we don't know which one's bigger. When you do it, you do know, but this is a hypothetical. So what happens, you have the two numbers and we need to close income summary out and we close that one to retained earnings. The question is, do we debit or credit? And the answer to that one is the ever good, me being an accountant and an attorney, depends. What does it depend on? Do you need to add a number here to make these two numbers equal this one, or do you need to add a number as a credit so these two numbers equal that one? You have to make it so that debits equal credits and it closes to zero. So, if you need to credit income summary, you would debit retained earnings and credit income summary for whatever number you need to make it zero. If, you need, if this one's bigger, which means you get more revenue, which is a good thing, than expenses. If the revenue is bigger, which close out comes to here, as you see, you then would debit income summary and you credit retained earnings. That credit to retained earnings will affect your retained earnings number that you do in the statement of retained earnings. So that's actually your closing entries. There is another way you can do it. You can actually skip the income summary. I'm not showing it. What you do is same thing. You're going to debit all your revenue accounts, credit all your expense accounts, and instead of using income summary, do one entry and you just want one huge entry and just put retain earnings as the plug. That's another way of doing it and never using income summary. There's two ways. Thank you.